What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the 365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and we're talking about Planner, and we're going to look at an action which is list the plans for my group. Now what this action allows you to do is this actually allows you to list all the plans that you have in your security group. So as you are creating new um, new planners, um, they may be inside a, a certain security group, either one for your environment or a spe specific Office 365 group, and it allows you to list all your plans inside there. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in, I'm in Power Automate here, I've got a flow, which is a manual trigger flow. If I click on new step, then type planner into the search bar, click on planner, and then I can scroll down until I get list plans for a group. The only thing it's going to ask me for is my group ID. So this is the ID of the group. So uh, when you create a plan from Planner, um, it may ask you to um, specify your group or may uh, ask you to um, specify an existing Office 365 group or create a new one. Um, this is the group that, we've, that you need to put in here. So in my instance, I've got one called Power Automate Plan, and that is the name for my group. It's also the name for the plan uh, that I've got set up as well. Um, so if I flick over to that, this is my Power Automate plan, and this is a plan, but it's also a group as well. Now, if I click on new plan on the left, you can see that it actually says, do I, I need to give this plan a name. I can add to an existing Office 365 group. Uh, I also then have options of privacy, so public, anyone in my organization can see my plan, or private, only members can see my plan and its contents. I can also give it an optional description as well. So if I put a plan here of test plan one and click add to an existing Office 365 group, I get a list of groups here. So the Power Automate plan is the one, uh, is the group that I'm in at the moment, and that's the one I'll assign this to. So if I click on create plan, we can see I now have a test plan here. So I have test plan one and Power Automate plan. So if I go back to my flow, and this is still the group ID, um, and I click on test, uh, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click done, and it's going to run through, we can see it's triggered, and then it's going to give me a list of my groups. So the first one it gives me is the Power Automate plan inside this JSON object. And then it gives me some details about the plan, title, the ID, etc. And then I also have this test plan one. So I'm getting both of those things in here. <coughs> now, if I created that plan inside a different group or made it public, it would not be accessible through this action. So if I go back to Power to Planner, create a new plan, and I type in uh, test plan or test plan two. Uh, and say, actually, I want this to be private so anyone can see it, and hit Create Plan. Although I have access to it, it's not inside of that group. So if I rerun this uh, flow, click on Edit, click Test, uh, actually, do you know what I'll do is I will add a new step, I'll add a Compose action, click Compose, and then the in here, I'm going to put the title of the plan, which will then apply and apply to each around all of it because there may be multiple ones come back. So if I click on test, uh, save and test, and run this flow, what it should do is it should list all the ones that are still available inside that group, but not other ones. So once this catches up, we can see that it's got two plans. It's got the Power Automate plan, and the test plan one. It does not have this test plan two because as you saw when I created it, I did not create it inside that security group. So the way this one works is this action is listing all the plans for the group. The group ID is the Power Automate plan and therefore only plans that are created inside of that group are the ones that it pulls back and not necessarily anything that the user has access to. So that's actually a key point to understand and something that's useful to kind of point out. Um, so it pulls back everything for the group, not everything a user has access for. So make sure you understand the differentiation there and how to create your groups and your plans. 
So let me know what you guys think. Um, is plan is list plans food group something you use all the time? Um, do you use it to maybe get out uh, a list of plans that are selected in that group that people have access to um, in case you need to restrict access or maybe you need to change things? Um, or do you do something else with it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It would be appreciated. If you've not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button um, to stay up to date with all my recent videos. And I'll see you next time.